Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another 1v1 replay cast. Today we have a, uh, what I think is the Russian community, Russian speaking community, uh, playing against each other. We've got Sup Reznov and Cyan as the uh, China nuke in the south. And in the top, we have M5 um, Spilka or SPL, sometimes he's called. This will be a Clan Wars game, so a high level 1v1, the typical 1v1 pro game that you find. Um, SPL. It's been on the rise for like the last, um, well, last few years, probably last two or three years. And although his improvement has been slow, he, he, he is making it, um, he is making good inroads to the, um, towards the top players in both 1v1 and, or sorry, 1v1 and the uh, 2v2 scenes. He recently won a tournament, uh, like the pro and pro and pl pro plus a semi 2v2 tournament where he actually won that. I can't remember the name he won. It was it Machiavelli. SPL won it with, even beating the likes of Xcal in there and Xcal and whoever he was with. I can't remember who he's with, and also Boyker and Choke was in there. Uh, SPL came out on top, and also he's had some good stats in one v one as well. Don't think he's quite the ultra top level like the the Boykers, the um, Xcal the sizes and that, but we're still um, we're still seeing him improve, and uh, look forward to seeing him here against Reznov. Reznov is a very very um, strong player you can guarantee whenever you find him on clan wars or in any game he's always going to put up a good fight a very good player so yeah let's see um let's see what he's got to bring to the table here he's got the better army which is nuke and uh spl is going to be bunkering off and probably getting a helix at some point helix is a very good option again against nuke and nuke needs to be thinking about that and making gats like kind of mid game battle master versus uh, outpost here the outposters get taken out uh, but so does the Battlemaster. The tank hunters is the most important thing. They do survive. Outpost goes down there. And there's a dozer picked off here in the middle. There's so actually only one dozer now left for SPL. So an option for Reznov is actually to go and um, go and dozer hunt. He does have a good map control already. Because he's got hold of this building. He's got hold of this building. He's got units in the middle. The units pushing down the left. SPL does have this right side bunking off. But he's being very, very brave. Sending his... Uh, Sending his dozer to expand, and that's his only dozer, so that could get hunted. Let's see. Two war factories, uh, later into a barracks and a bunker was the build order of choice for SPL. It's just two war factories and a propaganda center for uh, Reznov. Is this going to go down? Yes, it is. Not going to kill any trucks, really. This caused some good splash damage, but not enough. But this other uh, battle master here might be enough to, um, to at least take down a truck, or at least the, uh, the outpost. Ooh, both trucks do survive for now, but the the radiation is there. Flame is taken out in the middle. Uh, yeah, these trucks need to be put back collecting. More aggression from Reznov down the middle. Propaganda Center is now out. Got a decision to make now, the nuke player. Whether he wants to go for a Black Lotus first or whether he wants to get Overlord ECM out first. Both is good. It's just um, when there are oils on the map, sometimes it's good to get your economy going first. But also a really quick overlord and ECM is really hard for China to uh, deal with. <clears throat> okay, so outpost is stealthed here because it's got nothing inside of it. Ooh, just crush one tank hunter. Now those are fighting against each other. We have a flamer here trying to engage the bunker, but this is a little bug that happens sometimes when there when there is a bit of a uh, incline, <clears throat> or the bunker's on top of a cliff, then the flamer can't do its uh, flame out damage or whatever you want to call it. The way it flushes the uh, flushes the infantry out. So, yeah, we've got uh, three outposts on the right side now for SPL, pushing into Reznov's base. Three Battlemasters from Reznov sent to engage this. Not the best composition to engage with. Yeah, it does need to wait till the ECM's there to do better damage. Could get a TNT placed on him here, but not quite. This uh, bunker in the middle now has gone down. This third dozer, sorry, the second dozer of SPL, the only dozer of SPL. <clears throat> it's now dropping down an airfield, not choosing to go back and play more defensive. He's leaving it out still in the open. And whilst he's got that bunker, anything can really just come in here and deal with that. TNT has been placed on the ECM here. TNT does explode and the truck has been moved. Oh, yeah, I think it moved. Might have been rotating to drop off his supplies, but either way, he's cleared it up. He's going to repair his stuff and now hopefully... For him be able to push out down the middle. That's when um, Nuke is very, very strong. Needs to mix in at least one Gat uh, before you push out, ideally. Because if you, especially when you've seen an airfield, that's, um, 
that means there could be a helix and then uh, yeah you need to make sure you've got some kind of anti air he is capturing it he might capture it before the helix is produced that'll be interesting Ooh, now helix is produced so now you need to be thinking the gat needs to be in this army there's no way you should be sending that across when you've just seen the helix just be produced so yeah gat needs to be mixed in here this dozer is going to try and run away uh outposts are going to try and take out the oil but that's the wrong time to shot, start shooting the oil because the Battlemaster is already there. Helix is now coming forward. There is a Lotus going to capture this supply, or at least try to. Helix will fly over and will cause some big damage to that. There's a Flamer here as well, though, from Reznov. And in the middle, uh, Battlemaster has gone down. Lotus died. Flamer has been stopped. Decent hold by SPL so far. And this is what I mean about the super solid player that he is. As I say that, he does lose the Helix for nothing. But sometimes, yeah, when you're distracted, you... At the edge of the screen, you can miss that. But yeah, Helix going down is a big loss. Propaganda Center now being built by uh, SPL. <clears throat> Subliminal Meshians is what we need to see from Reznov. Really powerful upgrade. You know he's got it because he'll have the yellow outline. I think it's yellow. Yeah, yellow outline on these plus signs on the top of the overlords. So yeah, definitely needs to be getting that because it basically increases by 100% the regen of the HP. <clears throat> so yeah, very, very important. And uh, now he's picked off the Helix. He doesn't want to hang around, really. He just wants to push in because China Vanilla, there's nothing really you can do against this. Like, these Overlords can just be attack moved in and you can just keep the Gats and ECMs behind. The Overlords will do all the damage. The Overlords will take out all of this. And Gats from behind will protect against Helixes. <clears throat> but yeah, Reznov in a really good position. He's got the middle uh, middle supply. SPL does have the right one. This bunker would probably be good to flush out at some point. Yeah, with a Flamer. Flamer is coming now. And then he can expand over there. I mean, he's in, a, he's in a really good position. He's getting a CC. One battle master going to be sent into the supply line. I like that. Whilst SPL is distracted here. SPL is single filing his um, outposts into these overlord zone. That's something you don't want to do. Subliminal machine is still not in play. That is a mistake. You want to get the subliminal machine. And uh, Battlemaster goes down to a nuke cannon, of all things, back in the base. Nuke cannon now rolling out. <clears throat> she was a little bit of a glitch in the animation there where it actually moved whilst it's actually deployed, which she shouldn't be able to do. Nuke cannon again is going to hit these uh, overlords. Yeah, two nuke cannons. I suppose that's one way you can deal with uh, with nuke as your China Vanilla. It does require a general promotion, though. Ooh, another nuke cannon shot, but it is going to miss this time. CC is now in play. Another Helix is probably coming. But the problem is with these new cannons, they are so slow and clunky that these Overlords and the Gats and the ECM at all the same speed. They all move very fast. You can actually just go in and pick these off before they get ready to deploy. But there is a lot of ECMs there. There's also a few Battlemasters in the mix there as well. Let's be on mixing it up. There's a Carpet Bomb coming in. Doesn't kill any. Oh, it does kill two trucks. So you take the two truck kill. Reznov flaming down the supply there on the right side. Artillery now coming from SPL. That's going to be on the other trucks, but that one is already nearly mined out. 3.5k, still annoying to lose that. You've got to remake the trucks. Uh, what's going on here? There's actually a new cannon in the middle, clearing out some, some in the middle. These trucks have been moved. I think he thought the artillery was going to be there, but actually it's not. It's actually on his main base. So currently, uh, Reznov is not collecting on any trucks. Actually, apart from these, he's rebuilt. Um, okay, Flamer pushing on the right side. There is an ECM there to stop that. Um, this is SPL's Lotus. To be fair, SPL is doing really good as China Vanilla to be holding against this because this is not like a bad nuke play. Reznov is playing it super solid. Apart from the subliminal mesh him, uh, it's pretty much the only big mistake that I can see. Like, managing to hold on against Nuke uh, as China is, is hard. I mean, look at the amount of sign on the map surrounding SPL at this point. SPL pushing out with some ECMs. Going to disable some stuff. And Nuke Cannon will come back to life. There's a Flamer. Ooh. There's the Oath. Was there an Overlord there? There was an Overlord there, wasn't there? <clears throat> or maybe there was. No, it wasn't because they're uh, Nuke Cannon. They're using the radiation. So yeah, SPL is doing real good. ECMs combined with these new cannons is the way forward, it seems. Uh, Reznov is not going to be able to just continue with the same composition. He's going to need to transition into something else. Maybe uh, maybe getting a nuke and getting a nuke mix is one option. Or maybe making a helix is another option. There are a few gas out for SPL, though. SPL has got a real nice composition and holding really, really nice. Artillery and a carpet bomb now from uh, Reznov. 
A load of ECMs pushing forward for SPL. Artillery comes in and does kill the supply in the barracks. Not really that much damage, though, because that supply was mined out anyway. This supply in the war factory is going to go down, though. That's a big, big hit. And now both players have uh, taken heavy damage. This uh, attack now from SPL has overstretched itself. It does need to go back because otherwise his army here is just going to get uh, killed. And you don't want to let Nuke get even more generals promotions. There is a copy bomb now coming in. Is that going to be bang on here? I think it is. Ooh, one overlord. Yeah, one overlord does go down. So actually for SPL, that's pretty okay. Still think Reznov has got the advantage. Got better support powers. And better army. Does need to cancel this barracks though. Don't know if that got cancelled or killed. I think it got killed. But new cannon here is just still clearing out the middle. I think that's just been attacked, moved into the base. And Reznov is just not interested in dealing with it. Dealing with it. He'll need to just send one gat close to it. And the new cannon won't be able to do anything about it. But yeah, collecting from both of these is really important for Reznov now. Because he's mined out. I uh, know oh he's not mined out here. He's mined out here on the left. He can sell that and use the trucks. Helix now coming in for SPL. Oh, it has been rebuilt. Gat does get taken out. There are a number of other, other gats there. Uh, very close game so far. I still feel Reznov got slight advantage. Lois over here is going to steal some cash, I think, of Reznov. That will steal his only... Oh, he's actually... That's a really, really good move. He spent all of his cash, so he wasn't able to steal anything and then and then cancelled some stuff. I really like that. You spend all of your cash, like build like, loads of tank hunters, and then you cancel them all when you don't when you don't actually need them. You just make yourself have zero cash. Yeah, I really like that. But now he has 450 stolen, and SPL's coming in with the army as well. We've got a lot of ECMs here again. Going to take out the Overlord. That's a big loss for Reznov now. Two Helix is now coming in. Truck is going to get taken out, and the bunker for Reznov going to get taken out as well. And this cash hack again coming in. And sometimes even when you sell the building, the cash hack can actually still take place. Let's see if that's going to work. Oh, it didn't that time, but I think if you're a little bit later on the sell, even even though it does sell, you can still you can still steal some cash, even though it does get sold. So yeah, one of the benefit of stealing cash rather than just capturing buildings all the time. Um, here is Reznov's um, Lotus. Helixes versus Helix is on a very awkward angle on the on the cliff. The Helix there for um, Reznov does go down. This new cannon is still causing massive damage and got himself a Vet 2, uh, Vet 2 Stripes. No subliminal messaging from SPL also would be helpful for these Helixes, definitely. I mean, the Helix is healing twice as fast as normal. And just with the normal speaker tower is absolutely massive. Carpet bomb coming in here, and that's an annoying time because now it's not even worth rebuilding the supply. Long distance collect, I suppose. And very long distance to the middle. Yeah, Reznov's now only on one supply in the middle, and it's damaged and under threat from this uh, nuke cannon. Reznov seems to be hanging back, just hanging around. And does need a load of weaker units, I suppose, rather than just overlords to engage his ECMs. You need more low attack. Uh, units and when these ECMs get overwhelmed, they can't really do anything. If it's if they got if the, if the ECMs outnumber you, then they're they're in for a win. But if there's even one short, then they're on for a loss. Uh, Helix is now coming in from SPL on the top, on the right side rather. There is a gat here though. SPL needs to be careful with his Helixes again. He's already lost one for no reason before. Not be losing another one. Where are the Lotuses? That's the question. Unit lost. I thought I could press Control and H and go to their hero unit, but maybe they both died. I don't know. There was one here before, but I think it has died. Battlemaster here does get taken out by the Helixes. But still, this army for Reznov is still hard to deal with. If he just makes gas and ECMs in his base, he could push out with that one. Um, and still, I think Reznov has got the got the advantage, especially if SPL gets kicked off the supply, which is looking like very soon. He looks on the right side for Reznov. He's going to come in and engage the bunker. Yeah, going to engage the bunker. Both players working their way towards five star, but SPL is actually really close, and Reznov is still 1,500 XP off. Uh, a couple of War Factory kills. 
will definitely help. Or even just one will fetch you kill. But SPL's coming in with all of his helixes. And Reznov has to run away because there are four against one helix. Very typical situation in uh, China versus Nuke is they go helixes versus the ground army. And as soon as the ground army moves out, that's when you go in with the helixes. But the counter to that is just to build GATs and ECMs, or another wave of them in your base. And as soon as you have like two blobs, that's when um, that's when it's hard for China. So yeah, technically, SPL still shouldn't win, but he's still very much in this. He is still collecting here somehow on this left-hand side. I'll tell you, we just take out that uh, war factory. It's not been allowed to kill that supply, but I think the reason SPL's Helix is not going in is because there are so many gas and ECMs around. Uh, Reznov is really scared to move out. He does not have that much money at all. He's got 475. Uh, no oils left. They've all been killed. So it's basically four helixes and a couple of buildings for SBL versus um, one helix, some ground units, and a couple of buildings for Reznov. Still think Reznov got the advantage there. Remember, this is the strongest support powers. <clears throat> but SPL does... Uh, he is very close to level five. So EMP on this, for example, that could win you the game. Artillery is now coming in. Not quite sure where that is going to be. Probably on the prop or between the prop and the war factory. Reznov does not have a dozer out, so any damage he takes, he's not going to be able to repair it unless he starts selling buildings. Carpet Bomb comes in, but intercepted by the Helixes. <clears throat> so yeah, that's unfortunate for Reznov. Carpet Bomb's going to need, what, is it two and a half minutes to cool down now? <clears throat> Reznov does have a dozer, actually. Does have a dozer. He doesn't have enough money for this supply, though. Copy one for SBL kills most of Reznov's buildings. Reznov is now only on a CC, a power, and a barracks. And SBL is on a CC, a barracks, and an airfield. So, very, very cagey affair now. We've got three buildings versus three buildings. But SBL ha has an EMP now and needs to be careful of this army. Whereas Reznov needs to be thinking there surely could be an EMP anytime soon. It's coming in with a helix. That's killing the airfield. He's going to kill the last build, and this is possibly the EMP, and it could even take out a helix. Ah, man, that's painful. Takes out the helix and a gap. Okay, helix is now for SPL come in. Think about engaging this, but don't quite. Again, subliminal estrogen. <clears throat> um, would boost the fire rate of all these. Don't know exactly by how much. I think it's like... It's between 10 and 25%, something like that. They boost the fire rate, whatever. And like that can be the difference between taking out these helixes and not. SPL coming in now with a counterattack, but the GAT CCMs are already prepared for the counterattack. And uh, okay, e Reznov is going back, thinking about going back. He's killing the CC. It's going to come down to CC versus CC. He's going to have to send these GATs and ECM back. No player at the moment has enough money to build a building. Actually, SPL does, but his dozer has been disabled. So he's now going to have to place down the barracks. He's going to place down the barracks back here. Uh, SPL's killed the CC now of Reznov. Reznov is dropping down the barracks at the top left. But without the support powers, that's going to be real, real hard. Super, super close game coming up. I have no doubt about that. This uh, barracks, is that going to be built? I'd place that somewhere hidden, like maybe down the bottom right where you've just revealed. CC is now being repaired. Helix is now coming in. And if that uh, if that Overlord goes down, I can't see any way Reznov is going to win. The Gats are here to try and defend. Are they going to take out a Helix? One Helix just gets taken out and the Overlord escapes by the skin of his teeth. Uh, I'm surprised that Overlord survived, to be honest. Uh, this building over here is now going to get engaged, but there are two buildings left. <clears throat> this one's going to be flying around. He does not have the Napalm Bomb. 
So the only thing left, actually, a tank hunter as well for SPL. So SPL needs to kill the buildings. He does have the CC. So Reznov at this point cannot be wasting any time. Uh, this helix is not going to be able to do much because it's only got a Gatling tower on it. I don't think selling the buildings was the best idea, to be honest. Why did he sell the buildings? Okay, you could build three more barracks, I suppose. But killing this CC is the absolute priority because once them support powers come, that is it. Helix is still flying around. I don't think selling them buildings was a wise decision, to be honest. Mine drop coming in. There's land over here. Uh, but Reznov is hanging around too long. He needs to shut down this dozer and he needs to kill the CC. But he is scared of this Helix. But it's only a Gatlix, though. He surely, surely should have seen that. Reznov manages to dodge a carpet bomb. But actually, that carpet bomb is going for the barracks. Barracks is getting sold. I think it will sell just in time. But the dozer over here has found that the... Sorry, the dozer has been found by the Helix. <clears throat> SPL is running away with his... Uh, oh, no, he's not, actually. I don't understand why this dozer's not getting EC ECM down. That dozer's been picked off and there is no... Oh, there is a scaffold. Okay, there is a scaffold. But he had the ability to place down three, so that's a mistake. He could have placed down three around the map, but instead he's just built one. But yeah, selling them buildings in his base... <clears throat> Could end up costing the game here. Gat and an ECM are chasing the Helix. This is still a Gat Helix. He's going to come in and try and pick off this, I think. Uh, CC is desperately being trying to repair. A desperate situation for SPL. SPL is now coming in. Picks off the scaffold. Now the artillery is coming across the map. Don't tell me that's SPLs. We're going to come down to CC versus CC kill versus artillery. This is going to be one of the most insane finishes ever. What is going to happen first? Watching the artillery coming across the map. Is the CC going to go down? This is insane. This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> SPL manages to save his CC long enough for the artillery to come in and kill the barracks with like 10% HP. What an absolutely epic game. What is it with Zero and these super epic games that I keep watching recently? Like it gets more and more epic. Sometimes you see, oh, kind of the same thing happened last time. A scaffold survives or whatever. But never seen that, I think, where literally the CC is on the verge of death. If that CC would have died, the artillery would have disappeared and it wouldn't have hit. I think. Yeah, I think it wouldn't have hit. But regardless, SPL would have been defeated and uh, SPL would have won. Uh, sorry, um, Reznov would have been defeated and SPL... No, what am I what am I even saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. That's that's a super epic game anyway. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, regardless, I meant that SPL would have lost if that CC went down. <clears throat> so um yeah, what an, what an amazing game. Uh, artillery versus a CC on 10% HP, absolutely amazing. But yeah, Reznov, he had a he had th uh, 1,500. He should have dropped down three scaffolds. If he had dropped down three scaffolds, even if he did a scaffold next to the other barracks that he did, which wouldn't have been hard to do, then um, he would have got the win there. So yeah, SPL managing to scrape through by the skin of his teeth, but he had the weaker army, which is um, obviously China Vanilla against Nuke is very, very hard. So yeah, 100 units destroyed versus 77, 79,000 versus 73,000 supply selectors are very, very even. But um, yeah, Reznov destroyed more, but still came out um, underneath and uh, SPL managed to get the win. So yeah, GG, let me know if you thought this uh, was a close game. Have you seen closer than this before? Uh, GG, well played to both players and uh, see you in the next one.